Hi Sears Fit Studio people, how's it going? Today we are talking about shaping up for summer using weight training. Okay, everybody knows or, or most people know they've read about the benefits of weight training as far as not just, let's just not say toning, but let's say, you know, getting your muscle going. Muscle is good, okay, but it's not just about toning. This is about strength. This is about improving your overall strength and endurance. And it's also about the vanity aspect too, okay? So yeah, you know, we like it when our muscles look good. But talking about weight training, some people get intimidated if they haven't gotten started yet. And let me tell you, it's very simple if you want to get started doing some type of weight training activity for your body. And if you don't have a gym membership, do not let that stop you. Okay, I don't even want to. Uh, uh, I don't even want to hear that excuse. Don't even say I can't do weight training because I don't have a gym. Okay, let me tell you something. I have a gym membership, but I would say 80% of my workouts are done here in my home, and I have a little closet right around the corner here where I keep all of my home gym equipment. I actually am able, you would never know by walking in my house that I have a home gym, but I have everything. And if you want to get started with something small, if you've never worked out with weights, but you want to start, you know, feeling the benefits of resistance training and kind of just getting your body used to it, there's some simple tools that you can get for a home gym that are very reasonably cost. Of course, they're all available at Sears check out. We'll probably have some good deals for you too in the future. Um, but they don't take up a lot of space too. So some people will get all intimidated and think, oh, it's a big deal. I have to get a big, you know, home gym and, and I have to, it's going to take up all my space and where will I put it? Let's start with something as simple as a medicine ball. Okay. This is like a, a six pound medicine ball. Okay. This is, this is heavy, but this is something that you can do I don't want to say hundreds, but you know, tens, twenties, thirties, and those kind of numbers as far as different moves. You know, you can push, you can put it over your head, you can pass it between you and a partner, husband, wife, brother, sister, daughter, friend, dog, whatever. Um, it can be used one arm, it can be used um, with core work. It can, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with one little weighted ball. That's just a, and look how much space it's going to take up. You can put that under your bed. Furthermore, I'm always talking about resistance bands. Some people think that you only can do weight training with free weights. That's obviously a great way to do it, and the machines at the gym are good too. A resistance band or two or three resistance bands of varying strength, because based on the color of the band that you buy, that tells you how how strong the resistance is for you. You can do, oh my gosh, do you know how many hundreds of exercises you can do with a resistance band? For virtually, I'd say, every part of your body. If you don't have a resistance band, and look at this, if you travel, throw this in your suitcase, I can almost put this in my purse. Okay, most of these, I would say, I don't know if, uh, I sh probably shouldn't price this out. They're, they're definitely, I would say, under $50 each. Um, they might even be cheaper than that. This is probably one of the best pieces of equipment that will take up the least amount of time and you can get such a good workout for your whole body in with one of these, okay? Lastly, I don't want to say lastly, I'm just giving you three little examples for weight training. Something that you can buy and start working out at home slowly but surely and work according to your level. Make sure you're getting help on form. Kettlebells. Obviously, I'm picking up the heavy one, okay? If you haven't heard about kettlebells, this is definitely something that you're going to want to read up on and make sure that you either get the advice of a trainer or make sure that you work out with somebody first that can show you. These start as small as, that's my 35 pound one, um, and you want to start light, let's be safe, but they start as light as like 5, 10 pounds, great way to do any number of exercises, far more flexibility with one of these than even with, with dumbbells. So with these three little tips, I've given you three little tools that you can buy that require no storage space, minimal cost, you can take them anywhere. Kettlebells maybe, you know, once you get into the heavier weights, not so much in your suitcase, but you get the idea. Branch out, start small, and do something that's gonna help you start getting those beautiful muscles that you can show up in the summer, in the summer clothes. I almost said summertime, summer clothes, that's what I meant. Get out there and make it happen.